You must be wondering what kind of projects will actually get you hired. Well, you are not alone. Many students ask this very question every year. The competition is fierce. Everyone is looking for that one project that can make their resume stand out. So let's look at what is the best project for placements and internship. As a fresher, we often lack full-time work experience and that's where projects come in. So think of it as your chance to showcase your skills in a real world context. Companies aren't just looking for theoretical knowledge. They want proof that you can get things done and also projects they are your proof but the big question is what makes a project good enough to get you hired let's break it down a great project is unique has real life users and fits the domain you are targeting let's break it down these qualities recruiters see hundreds of resumes with the same generic projects but when you go extra mile and create something unique it's like adding a personal signature to your work even small extra effort can make your resume stand out. We are not talking about having millions of users, even 10 to 50 real users are enough. Real users mean you are solving actual problems, not just creating something for the sake of having a project. It showcases that you are thinking like a product developer, not just a student. Now here's a kicker. A project that aligns with company you are applying to can set you apart. For example, a student applying for a role at PhonePay might build a security focused app and guess what that is definitely going to grab their attention four learning stages to get to the point where you have a project worthy of your resume you need to go through four learning stages stage one technology learning phase pick a tech stack learn the fundamentals get comfortable with the syntax don't skip the basics it's essential if you're focusing on web development that means learning the basics of front end like html css and javascript and also back end like node.js python we all start here Basic projects are like calculator, to-do list, weather app. These projects help you get comfortable. But let's be real, they are not going to impress recruiters. But don't worry, these are your practice runs. Now you are combining front-end, back-end and database. At this stage, your project should have real-world features like authentication, live data, proper error handling. You can think of building a live streaming app or messaging app that can store messages in the database. Here's where you are going to get creative. Think of a problem you and your friends face and build a solution for it. Maybe you build an app that helps students organize their study schedules or a platform for booking local events. If it's useful, it is going to get attention. Now, while you're working on these projects, do not forget to get involved in parallel activities. Participate in hackathons, contribute to open source projects, think activities, which gives you a platform to work on more complex challenges. And trust me, they will look great on your resume. Now let us talk about mistakes because we all have made them, right? But uh, here's some common ones to avoid. Like for example, basic front-end projects only. A simple website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript won't cut it. You need to add more depth like integrating a back-end or a database. Never ever copy and paste code from GitHub or a friend. Recruiters can spot it in seconds. If they catch you, you are in a 20-30 minute grilling during the interviews. And trust me, it's not worth it. If you are in a group, make sure everyone has a role. Lazy group projects where no one is actually contributing won't impress anyone. Okay, now that you have got some projects, how do you present them? Here's the deal. Internships. Two strong full stack projects are enough. Aim for three projects that showcases the depth if you are aiming for a full-time job. And always remember, it's not about quantity, it's about quality, depth and understanding. You can show them during the interviews so that you can have it. You can start with learning the tech, then practice with the basic projects and slowly work your way to the building full stack real life solutions. Remember, it's about proving your skills, not just having a degree. Take your time to learn, and keep improving. It's all about building projects that show that you can solve real problems. Good luck and start building today.